Welcome back to another Hakata Tenkatsu Ramen's review. Today is episode 10. I'm Justin. What is up? I'm Logan. And together we're Couch Talk. As always, we're anime viewers only, no source material. We're going to discuss the episode and give our scores at the end. Ready? Yes. So, right Ready. off the bat, we get our baseball. We have Sarucci and Bamba at right the Right off cages. the bat. Yeah, no pun intended. But go ahead, full pun. Stop, I hate you. <laughs> they have their little, their little bickering moments of Bamba can't... Yeah, I like how he hits a home run as soon as Sarucci walks in. He's just hitting to shortstop for double play. <laughs> of course, Sarucci can't, you know, aim. That's why Bamba calls him Zero Aim Ninja. Jesus. Always with the baseball. Yeah, it gives them good banter, man. Um, after that, though, we get his ex, Soyuri, involved here. Her and Lynn come in. Not too much involvement, just... Yeah, it was like he asked seconds. her to get a list of all the executives when she killed Wang. Yeah, they're planning to kill every executive. <laughs> they said, Which at right. the same... For the Kaikyu... Executives, and at the same time, we have Sarushi and his boss working with the Shang Wan to go kill the executives at the same time. Um, of course, as is expected, everything's got to yes. be together. Yeah, Hong Kong is like, all right, Kaku's weak. It's time to go in there, steal their turf, and start taking their hitman jobs <laughs> and drugs and everything else. Um. <laughs> oh, anyway, I like how we have Sarushi and Bamba. They decide to pick the same two targets to start with. Out of all the executives, they chose the same two as like I guess decent starter ones. Decent starter one. <laughs> I, 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 Bamba and Lin go to kill one. Sarushi goes to kill the other. And of course, they obviously kill their targets. And when they go back to the other ones, they're dead. They're just <laughs> like, oh man, what are we going to do? Oh, man. I just like how Baba and Lin just talk with the police officer, like the detective, like, oh, that's who we were supposed to kill. He's like, you shouldn't be saying this in front of the police. He's like, please, I, I, I didn't hear like, anything. I, I, know. <laughs> like, yeah, I know what you guys are doing. I know I'm like an informant for you, but you did not say that. No, no. Cover my ears. Oh um, man. And of course, uh, we get some Inokita involved in there as well. He's got his and spies within the Kaiku, and as he doesn't want his spies to die. So he's like, "Hey, thank you for the information. Go hide." He just doesn't want them to die because that's information. He's an informant broker. He loves yeah, his a... information. He's like, yeah, exactly. give me all the info. <laughs> um, and he's trying to figure out the whereabouts. This is where it starts to get interesting. The member from the KQ hires Fei Lon. I thought Fei Lon was for the Shang Wan, but I guess he's not. Oh, I, th I guess he's like an independent Chinese killer. I guess so. <clears throat> of course, he's going around killing everybody with his his Chinese sword kind of looks like a falchion, but he's a pretty anyway. brutal assassin with his giant ass blade just hacking <laughs> at people. Yeah, he has like he's here basically to cause complete madness and chaos because he doesn't do anything like everyone else kind of doesn't like you know stealthy kind of sneakily way like no witnesses or anything. He just <laughs> walks into the gas or the little convenience store and just chops the guy he doesn't care he's just like you're dead all right moving on to my next mission even like suzuki's like uh we would have preferred it if it was a little <laughs> yeah. less silent could you not he's like, i got the job done didn't i you didn't tell me how to do it could you not cause such a scene <laughs> you know they're gonna be looking that up um and lynn and Phelan kind of pass each other in the streets. <sighs> Got your standard little meetings where they walk by, but he just hears the whistling. Phelan loves to whistle. 
Apparently. That one tune. No other tune. Just that one tune he picked up as a kid. <laughs> That's all he can whistle. That's actually the only thing he knows how to whistle. Probably. That is, this is the one that he can't whistle or anything else. He's like, I learned one tune in my life. I've never listened to another song since. <laughs> Um, this is where Lynn decides to run away in this episode as well. He's like, his past is cashing up to him. Yeah, he's scared. He's like, I don't want to get betrayed again. That shit hurt. Yeah, like, I don't blame him. Like, he had one friend in his life, and his friend betrayed him. That kind of makes you not want to trust anybody ever again. Right. Which I guess is it's kind valid. of the point of that training, but kind of messes you up for life. <laughs> Don't worry. Mushroom Coon stopped him. <laughs> he did. After they had their little thief guy steal a plastic explosive. <laughs> the guy's like, holy shit, you gotta tell me next time that I'm carrying a goddamn bomb. <laughs> it's true. Uh, this guy was like... You know, he's probably thinking he's just stealing some basic stuff. Just a bomb in his hand. Unexpected. But yeah, you know, Kina stops Lynn. He's like, because he needs a favor. That's really what it comes down. He's like, he's like, why are you running away? Are you getting bombed? Like getting in a fight again? <laughs> like, please let me know. But he's, of course, a smart and picked up on it. He doesn't want to get betrayed. You know, he's like, oh, you just don't want to get betrayed. <laughs> it's like, what's wrong with getting pampered in your life? We're gonna die horribly anyway. He's got a point. Why not live life to the fullest if you're going to get assassinated, most likely? <laughs> when you're in, in the your world life. of Hitman, you know you're going to die. You're going to get it at some point. Right. It's only a matter of time. Uh, that's where uh, Lin sees Fei Lon and knows for sure he's back. Which. Showdown. It's going to be rough considering he thinks he killed him, but he didn't kill him. So. Now he's got to go kill him again. True. Like, you know, like, I need you to kill him. But we're going to have a, a full, obviously, next episode, him and Bamba. Yeah. They're going to have a showdown. There's going to be a full, first of all, the way it ends is leading up to a major showdown. We got Saruchi and Faye Lon meeting right there, going to kill each other. Like, It's going to be, everyone's going to come showdowns. Everyone's a come fight. Showdown episode. Because I know Sarushi, there's no way Sarushi will beat him or like kill him at least. Because I feel like like Ling's going to have to be the one that kills him. Yeah. It's definitely going to be saved for Lin. <clears throat> yeah, Lin. I don't know why I said Ling. Lin, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because I see it like on my anime list. I used to have it as Ling. So I still say that on rare occasions, even though it's Lin. But. It's okay. I will accept Whatever. your mistake. Whatever. Point is, I wonder how this Sarushi Lei Fawn fight's gonna go. Like, he'll probably gonna throw a shuriken and miss. Like that's guaranteed in there somewhere. <laughs> it'll. I'm sure it'll get interrupted by someone. It's probably definitely gonna get interrupted and just kind of quickly graze over for Lin to get in there. Right. <clears throat> but I mean, that's it. It is the episode. Uh, you want to jump in scores? Sure. I will give it... I'll give it a 7. I thought it was just pretty much building up towards Lin versus Phelon. Like, that's just where we're headed. It's just like... These are the these are the two, the two old friend rival things. We're going to have them fight. But yeah. It wasn't, like, a ton, but I just felt it was setting up for next episode. All right. <laughs> I'm going to give it a seven and a half. Uh, the show's just, as always, fun. It's still the best baseball anime. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> this show has one objective to be fun. That's what it feels like. It's what it's just trying to do, and it achieves that. You got, it is I fun. I love the interactions between all the characters at all times. The opening scene was great. Bamba and Saruchi trying to figure out baseball. <clears throat> or at least... 
Sushi sucks. The pussy <laughs> goes in baseball. He's just the worst. Right. I like how Saito was set up in one of the episodes to be a pitcher, and we haven't even seen him throw anything since that one episode. He's just in the background, never showing up again. I'm sure he'll get framed somehow again soon. It's gotta be. Um, I wish they did more with a thief guy. I actually like his character. Uh, but he's never... He's not, Anytime he shows up, he's just pure... He's like just comedic guy. Pure but he thief. Just, he just never gets too much time to shine. But other than that, yeah, episode's just fun. I love the character interactions. And I'm <laughs> ready for next episode for the true battles to happen. The showdown. Exactly. I'm ready. And I think that does it for the review. That does it for the review. But not for the spiel. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell down below to be notified every time we upload. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought about the episode, what you did, didn't like. Uh, maybe there's something we missed. You want to point out that you enjoyed. Uh, we both stream over on Twitch. Links are in the description down below. And until next time, peace out. See you.